Hi guys, welcome back. And in this lesson, we're looking at the major seventh chords, okay? So first things first, a major seventh chord is a, it's a still a major chord, okay? Because it's got major in it. Um, but it's got this new note, which is the seventh, as I'll show you in a second, and it kind of relaxes the whole chord. In terms of the sound of this chord, it's got a very chilled out kind of vibe to it. So that's something that I'm gonna get you to kind of work out for yourself as we get the chord, okay? So let's just go through it. So we're doing an A major seventh chord. Now, the first thing we need is the formula for the major seven. So I'm gonna come over here and write that out. So for a major seven, which you're gonna see written probably something like this. So M-A-J for Maj, and then seven. That's probably the most common form of seeing, you know, a shorthand major seven. But of course, this means, you know, major seventh is what it actually means, um, which I just put in brackets there. Now, the major seventh formula is root, third, fifth, and seven, okay? So, let's just go through that. The root, third, fifth, and seventh. So, if we look at the root, third, and fifth, this bit here is a major chord, isn't it? If you just get, literally get rid of the seven, you've got a major chord with root, third, and fifth, okay? So, that's something that is gonna continuously crop up through these seventh chords. Essentially, it's gonna be the basic triad plus a seven of some kind, okay? Now, the one thing we can pretty much always be sure of with major is that you're not gonna get any alteration of the basic, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So, there's no, not gonna be any sharps, not gonna be any flats, um, and they're specifically instructed. But with a basic major, major seven, major nine, whatever it is, it's just gonna be numbers without any sharps or flats. Okay, so let's just put that into some form of actual practice, okay? So remember, we're doing an A major seven. So I'm gonna write here, A maj seven, okay? So that's how you would typically see it written out, okay? And then I know I'm gonna take my root, my third, my fifth, and my seventh. So we've got A, we've got C sharp, we've got E, that's the fifth, and then the seventh is G sharp. Okay, so let's take those notes, shall we? Try and put these four notes onto the guitar. So you might wanna pause the video now. You know, you're looking basically, obviously for one note on each string, that's obviously, hopefully that's, that's pretty obvious, but just in case, you know, you have to have one note on each string. And try and put this note at the top of the chord if you can, okay? But if you can't, don't worry about it, just put them all together. And whilst you're trying to do it, just pause the video. Now I'm just gonna carry on, of course, because when you put these all together, you're gonna to hear that you've got the major element, which is this, and then this G sharp is gonna give that that kind of relaxed, chilled out feel that a major seven has got. You're gonna really typically come across major seventh chords a lot in jazz, lounge music, something that's a bit more relaxed, okay? Very rarely will you come across a major seventh chord, you know, in like a funk tune or a heavy rock tune because it's just not that vibe, okay? So a good kind of thing to remember is as you add more and more to major, the more kind of relaxed and, and kind of chilled out this chord starts to become. So as you start adding ninths and eleven and thirteenths or whatever, it's gonna be get it's gonna get more and more chilled. Okay? So that's just a cool little tip to remember. So that's given us our starting block, okay? We've now worked out an A major seven, okay? We've got root, third, fifth, seventh. That's to be remembered. And next time we'll add to this the minor seven. Mm -hmm. 